Hello. Well, it's the 2nd of May, 2009, Saturday, and I'm smoking a gold classic. Monday is a day off for me. No college. That's not too bad. I've been studying hard, really hard, like there's some things in life which you can never achieve, you can never get close to, you can only just come close to touching, but somehow they just drift away from you like grains of sand through your fingertips. Once the heat of our bodies met, and I fell in love. But less said about that, the better. I'm a heroin user. I used to use heroin. But not anymore. Heroin is the short road to hell. Heroin is hell. I'm on Subutex. It's an equivalent to methadone. The subutex makes you cold, hot sweats, cold sweats, when you don't have enough. I'm on a very low dose, about a third of what normal heroin users are on. But that said, it makes you withdraw like any other drug. And withdrawal from subutex is a pain in the ass. It's a real bitch. Hurts like hell. Nah, I'm not too sure what could be said about heroin, except that it helps to come down from crack really well. Now crack lasts a few seconds, and you can burn up hundreds of pounds in crack in a few minutes. But that said, heroin helps to come down from crack and lasts for hours. And you can only use a small amount of heroin, otherwise you'll throw up. I was on something like 40 pounds worth of heroin a day, which isn't much, it's a very small amount. But I did need that heroin, that 40 pounds worth, otherwise I'd be very ill, very sick. Now like, uh, wait a minute, I'm going to light up. Yeah, I mean, it's like, what can be said about heroin, eh? I never injected. Injecting is the short road to hell, like I said. Now my buddy, he injected. He was injecting regular. He had a box of sharps, a sharps box. And like, he had the lime, crystals. A little spoon, what they provided him with to mix it all together. I could never do that, you know. Maybe one day I would have done if I'd stayed on the heroin because injecting is a lot better than smoking, you don't waste as much. But just thinking about it makes my bones ache. It's like I can see it now in my head the brown liquid. The brown oil just being floated along the foil and going back and forth, back and forth, inhaling the smoke, the vapors. I mean, it was like pure bliss. And I'm just aching on the inside just thinking about it. And it's a horrible thing to be like to live through in life, having, you know, tried heroin. In crack, I don't give a fuck about crack, but the heroin I just loved, and you know, if I could.
would take some today and have a steady regular supply for free from the pharmacy of pure heroin. I'd choose that over Subitex any day. But I was just thinking today, it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining and like I was wondering about the Subitex, how much I hate it when it's in the morning and I'm withdrawing because I, my supplies ran out and I've got no Subitex and I'm rattling, I'm rattling to fuck and I've just got no, nothing, no gear to take and I really need my Subitex and the pharmacy, I go to the pharmacy and they tell me to wait like four hours before they'll get any in and I'm like nah man that's just fucked up and I'd have to wait rattling all that time hours upon hours and I'm just going out in my box thinking about you know the gear and everything now all my dealers are locked up and in jail prison you know what I mean and it's like I can't get no I can't get no gear so the only gear I can score is like the Subutex from the pharmacy that's all I can get and I can't seem to get off it no matter how hard I try to try and wean myself down I just can't get off the shit <laughs> you know and it fucks me up I just can't stand it you know it's just the daily abuse like of withdrawal and I've started taking my subby takes later in the day because of the fact that like sometimes the pharmacy don't have it in in the morning so I've started taking it as late as possible which is about 12 to 1 o'clock when I take my subby text and that means at least I don't rattle so bad now um, I mean I don't know I wish I could like just get pure supply of heroin you know it's like getting a pure supply of heroin from the pharmacy. I mean they do it in Switzerland and Amsterdam, Holland. In Holland they do heroin. They do do it over here but it's very hard to get on the program because it doesn't benefit everyone and some people abuse it. So they're very restrictive on who to let on the program for free heroin. I mean some people it works really well with because they get they can lead a productive life. Uh, I sell peyote in my spare time and I also attend college. So it's like now that I've got my subby text and I'm not scrounging for money just to scrape together for a bag of heroin. I can actually lead a productive life on the subby text. It takes all the cravings away. I don't withdraw no more apart from withdrawing from the subby text itself. But it's like I've got no cravings for heroin. I'm still on a very strong opiate drug though, which is a painkiller as well. I mean, which is Subutex or Subutone if you're in America, Sub-1. I mean, but it's like, really, I'd like to be clean from everything. But I just can't do it right at the moment because I know if I started to try and get weaned down off the Subutex, I'd start using heroin. I mean, just to combat the withdrawal, could like go down a couple of milligrams on the Subitex, say the half your dose, then you're going to be rattling for days, if not weeks. Even though you've got Subitex in your system on a regular supply, if they cut your dose in half, then you're going to be messed up. So that's what can you say, you know? I mean, either way you're screwed, because like, you end up back on the heroin and you're just chasing the highs again. And you're rattling all the time anyway, even though it feels so good when you score a bag and you're taking in, you know, you're chasing the beetle and everything, chasing the dragon. <sighs> 